So, we're uh, just sat at Motorcycle Live 2023, and I'd like to welcome my fellow northerner, username Kit, to the How stand. Do. Have a quick chat with her. Thanks for having so, me. So, Motorcycle Live 2023 yes. marks the end of the season, really. Mm -hmm. So how have you found 2023? 2023 has been a, a year of growth, I would say. Creating content for YouTube and it's just been wonderful, to be honest. Yeah. It's had some good points and bad points, yeah. but overall it's been pretty good. Right. Yeah. I mean, obviously you're an avid biker. Yeah. But what have you found in 2023 that's been... What, is, what have been your favourite bikes for the year? Okay, so favourite bike? Dead easy. Yeah? Super Duke. 1298 R. I did not think that I would fall in love with a bike like that, right. but it blew me away. The torque, the instant torque, how aggressive it is. Like, I was really shocked. And I want one in my garage yeah. ASAP. Really and then you can tune it. it. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, any bikes that you haven't liked? Bikes that I haven't liked? Or bits of biking that you haven't enjoyed about 2023? Um, probably at the start of the year, I embarked on my advanced rider training. All right. And I did that with the aim of, you know, promoting advanced riding maybe to like a younger audience because a lot of advanced right advanced riding is not really sexy, is it? No, not that I'm trying no, to make it sexy, but I'm just trying to like make it appeal maybe to younger people that wouldn't have considered it. You know, right. if I'm doing it and I'm getting something out of it, and I, I really loved my time doing it. The problem is though, when you're a motor vlogger and you put your head above the parapet and you show everybody what you're doing yeah. um, there was quite a few people that didn't think that i deserved to pass and that's fine because everyone's entitled to an opinion well, and yeah. in the video itself i even said like that ladies and gentlemen is where i failed my advanced riding because i genuinely thought i had right yeah there's there's ways to go about it and some people are really not nice so well. i've had to develop a bit of a thicker skin this year because um yeah i've had some abuse over that so yeah, that's, a, that's so been a low light when it was supposed to be a highlight there's always going to be somebody that hides behind a keyboard that's not putting his own identity yeah. on the line has always got something to say and you know what we get it we, yeah. We, yeah not not to the same extent that you yeah. do but you just take it on the chin really so what's your what's your personal go-to bike at the moment go-to bike yeah um, well being a motor vlogger, really, really lucky and fortunate. Get loads of different bikes in my garage all the time. Yeah. But I do have a GS, an R1200, called Beatrix, and she's wonderful. She's yeah. just a full height one, and I do hop around a lot on her. But, I mean, I don't ride it as much as, as I would like to, just purely because of all the bikes that you yeah. do get to yeah. review and sample and try. But it is the go-to. It's still it's Beatrix not, then. Yeah, it's <laughs> like if I got, did get a Super Duke at some point in life, right. it would be in addition to. Like, yeah. it, it couldn't replace Fair. it because it just, I like it, Mike likes it, does everything. Yeah, and as we're getting into the dark days, coming mm. up to the end of the year, we're yeah. looking forward to the, the, the longer days and the riding oh. season for 2024. Yeah. What are you looking forward to in 2024? Any bikes that you've seen this year that have been launched at either show, or this show, Ridemo or wherever? Yeah, that you're looking so forward to having a go on? I'd say the Ducati, the new Hyper Motard, that single cylinder. Yeah. That's looking pretty good. I think it's a, a 698, I think. 698. I like the look of, this is controversial, but the Africa Twin Adventure Sport. Okay. That's gone for a 19 inch front wheel now right. and is DCT. And I think it's going to like annoy a lot of like off-roaders. Yeah. But for me, who would like to do like long miles and stuff on that kind of bike, right. it's a win. Um, right. So I'm quite excited to try that bike, definitely. Yeah. Uh, the new Kawasaki 400 RR that looks like it'd be a right screamer yeah. Yeah. Um, and obviously the KTMs I mean we don't know what's coming in terms of 3090 if anything's coming there but the 990 has been released and that definitely yeah. looks yeah. 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 chef's kiss well yeah. to me anyway <laughs> just done the just done the development on the 790 looking for a, uh, ah. looking forward to the 990 coming in shortly because they've gone they've kind of split the 890 into the 790 and the 990 haven't they so I think I think the 890 is going to be discontinued yeah. now, and it's going to have more of a, a gap like the 790 and the 990. Yeah, right. So we, I mean, we've touched on the, that you're a, a full-time vlogger now. Yes, yes. So what's that brought to your life, and how's it changed your life? It's changed it for the better. I feel right. like I'm I'm a lot more relaxed as an individual, even though I'm I'm more busy than I've ever been. Right. But it's on my terms now. I don't have yeah. any bosses shouting at me. I don't have. I mean, obviously, I give myself targets and I follow my analytics on YouTube yeah. with a fine tooth comb and work out how I can, you know, grow substantially. And I think for 2020, 
four. That's next year, right? Yeah. Not too far. <laughs> I think we're, we're on track for like 100,000 subs with any right. luck. Yeah. That's, that's the goal. You're just short 70,000 now, right? I know. It's shot oh, up. I just, yeah. I'm, I'm baffled, but fantastic. I'm grateful. But yeah, it's... Well, I mean, the content you bring is fantastic. We really oh, I enjoy you. I appreciate that. I always yeah. just kind of wanted to represent like a normal Joe blog opinion because yeah. I'm not a racer. I'm not like a, a world champion. I've not been around the no. world. I can literally just only offer my perspective. And I suppose it does help for people that are maybe a bit short in the leg if they're looking to yeah. you know, see what works. If I can manage it, chances are they can. But then again, the bike technology is advancing so much now. Like you have the S1000 RR and they're talking about all this slide control. And even when I was on that launch, even some of the top journos are experienced. Right. They're like, we can't even get it sliding because we're not like, you know, right. champion level. We're not like yeah. racer level. We, we yeah. can't even do it. So we can only talk about it in theory, but yeah. we can't implement it. Yeah. Well, that's what all the B-rolls are with the actual badasses like sliding yeah, around. Can we, we can show it? how yeah. it works in theory, but we'll never achieve it ourselves. We're blessed as bikers now. I mean, the industry's changed. Well, biking, the technology is just just moved on so much in the last decade, hasn't it? Crazy. You know, yeah. when well, you pick a bike up now that's 10 years old, mm. and the technology that you're finding in the new bikes in comparison is just, mm. it's just pulls apart, isn't it? Space age stuff, really. Yeah. So you, how long are you at the, at the show for? So I'm at the show for three days, okay. um, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Um, on Sunday, I think I'm going around with Lily and we're filming some like okay. top bikes of 2024. Okay. So Lily is Duke of Blonde on Instagram for anyone that doesn't know. We'll drop her in the, uh, in, yeah, in the, the uh, description below. Um, she's a sweetheart, so that should be really fun. And yeah. then on Monday, I am actually, I think, doing a podcast with Bike Share, but it might be on the main stage, so okay. I'm scared. No. <laughs> Very scared. <laughs> you'll be fine, I'm sure you'll be fine. I hope so. But you're on Bike Show for the rest of the day today. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're coming down to More Cycle Live, be, be sure to come and meet Kate at Bike Show and again on Bike Show on Monday and she'll be on the big stage. Yeah. It'll be fabulous or and interesting Or if you see too. me, call me for a sticker. It's all good. Brilliant. Nice to see you again, Kate. Super. Thanks see for you having soon. me. Thank Cheers. you.